Okay, good morning and welcome to another session on word problems in trigonometry. Okay, the intended learning outcome for this session are as follows. At the end of this lesson, the student shall be able to understand why we need to learn trigonometry. Okay, especially in the context of the Bachelor of Science in Marine Transportation. Second is to solve basic problems relating to trigonometry. Okay, so solve muna tayo ng mga basic bago tayo puputa dun sa complex problems. Okay, and then lastly to solve problems related to course and bearing. Okay, so without further ado, let's start. First is, why do we need to learn trigonometry? Especially in your, in your uh, particular chosen profession. Okay, so in navigation, there are three terms that is related to trigo. These are what we call a course, a bearing, and a heading. Okay, so by definition, a course is a planned route. Okay, so if you look at this picture here, this red line, okay, itong path na to, is actually the course, the planned route of a particular vessel. Okay, now the second term is what we call the bearing. So bearing is the direction from your location to any distant point given in degrees from north. So unsa man uh, very complicated, okay? Tong definition. Bearing is the direction from your location. So for example, this is your location at point B, okay? To any distant point, okay? So if this is your location and this is the distant point D, okay? Then we connect these two points, okay? And then measure the degrees from north. So lalagay tayo ng linya dito that is north, okay? And then we create an angle, okay? From this north, mapunta dito sa line na to. And this is now our bearing. The direction, the direction from your location to any distant point given in degrees from north, okay? So lastly, is the heading. So heading is the direction that your ship is pointing. Or kadalasan, yung inisip natin, yung heading is directed, for example, uh, from C to D. So yung direction ng heading mo is pointing to point D, but this is not necessarily the case, okay? Especially when there is wind or current. So mapapansin nyo dito, yung heading niya is tabingi. This is the course, but the heading is tabingi because there is this wind or current acting on our vessel. So kahit na tabingi yung uh, heading natin, because of this wind or current that pushes our vessel, so darating pa rin tayo dito sa certain destination natin, which is at point D. Okay? So, those are the things that are related to trigonometry. Kaya tayo nagsasolve previously ng mga angles. So, makikita nyo dito 30 degrees. Okay? Makikita nyo dito that we have triangles involved. Okay? So, sa dito lang, yung involved na triangle dito is oblique triangle, which is our next lesson. So, before we solve problems, basic problems involving trigonometry, we have few terms that we need to consider. Okay? The first one is what we call the angle of elevation. So, the angle of elevation of an object, as seen by an observer, is the angle between the horizontal and the line from the object to the observer's eye, also known as line of sight. So, again, medyo komplikado yung definition. Tingnan natin through a certain illustration para mas makita natin. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin nito? Okay? So, for example, we have this man. Tawagin natin siyang Timmy. Okay? This is our observer. Okay? And then, he observes a certain object. Okay? This airplane. Okay? So, sabi dito sa definition, the angle of elevation of an object, this object, as seen by an observer, si Timmy, is the angle between the horizontal. So, gagawa tayo ng horizontal line on level sa kanyang eyesight. Okay? Horizontal, and the line from the object to the observer's eye. Line from the object to the observer's eye. Also known as the line of sight. Okay? So, the angle between these two, okay, from the horizontal papunta dito sa line of sight, yan, this alpha, this is what we call our angle of elevation. Okay? Now, the next term that we need to consider is the angle of depression. Okay? So, if the object is below the level of the observer, then the angle between the horizontal and the observer's line of sight is called the angle of depression. So, in this particular case, meron tayong building. Sa ibabaw ng building, nandun na katayo si Timmy. Okay? 
And then, dun sa ilalim ng building, on one of the roads, nandun si Cynthia naman. Ito, itong babaeng to. Okay? Now, the angle of depression daw is from the observer, which is si Timmy, to the object, which is si Cynthia, and this is our line of sight. And we connect this to an angle, and this is now our angle of depression, represented by the Greek letter beta. Okay? So, angle of elevation and angle of depression. Okay? So, now that we have already uh, pointed out the difference between an angle of elevation and angle of depression, let's start by solving one simple problem. Una. Okay? So, for our first example, okay, we have this example. If the height of a tree is 8 meters and the length of its shadow is 6 meters, find the angle of elevation of the sun with respect to the ground. Okay? So, in this kinds of problem, especially in trigonometry, very important na alam natin pa paano mag-drawing. So, dito lang sa PowerPoint, since hindi, hindi tayo nagsusulat, okay? Hindi ko mapakita sa inyo pa paano i-drawing, okay? But, I'll just illustrate it through this uh, drawing, okay? So, if the height of a tree is 8 meters, ito yung kahoy natin, height doon yan is 8 meters, and the length of each shadow, yung haba ng anino, is 6 meters, Find the angle of elevation of the sun with respect to the ground. So, ano do yung angle of elevation? This angle, so since this is our horizontal, this is our line of sight to the sun, ano do yung angle of elevation natin dito? Okay? So, solution, let theta be the angle of elevation. So, this one, ito yung theta. Now, review of our previous lesson. The height of the tree is blank with respect to angle theta. Itong height na to, or itong side ng triangle na to, okay, what is its relation to angle theta? At bang ba siya? Hypotenuse ba siya sa triangle or adjacent? Okay? So if you have understood our previous lesson, the answer should be, it's the opposite side. Since this is theta, at bang niya, is it yung 8 meters? Second one is, the shadow of the tree is blank with respect to angle theta. Itong shadow na to, itong 6 meters na to, ano yung relationship niya with regards to this angle? Since meron na tayong opposite, dalawa na lang yung pagpipilian natin. It's either it's the adjacent side or the hypotenuse. But in this case, again, if you understood the previous lesson, this is the adjacent side. Or sa Bisaya pa, katapad. Okay? So, dua lang katapad ni Theta. This side or this side. In this case, itong side na to is the hypotenuse. Okay? This is the longest side of our triangle. So, automatic, this one is our adjacent side. Okay? Now that we have determined that yung 8 meters pala, itong side na to is opposite, at itong 6 meters pala is adjacent, we can now solve this angle theta. Okay? We have opposite and adjacent. So, katawa. So, ang gagamitin natin dito will be tangent. Theta, opposite over adjacent. Now, tangent theta is equal to, yung opposite side is 8, Adjacent side is 6. So, yan. Then, we take the arc tangent or the inverse trigonometric function of tangent on both sides. So, arc tangent, okay? This cancels out, leaving theta on the left side of the equation. And theta, kung i-calculate nyo to sa calculator, will lead you to this particular value, 53.13 degrees. And this is now our angle of elevation. For our next example, so, kung kanina, it's angle of elevation, this time, we'll solve a problem involving angle of depression. So, here's our problem. Timmy is standing on the edge of a hill when a maritime ship passes by. Okay? Timmy is 75 meters above the ground. Well, the angle of depression from his position to the ship is 30 degrees. How far is the ship from the bottom of the hill? And how long is the line of sight? So, again, para mas makita natin anong ibig sabihin ng problem na to, it's very uh, important na kaya nating i-drawing kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng problem. Okay? So here we have, uh, sabi dito, Timmy is standing on the edge of a hill. So kanina, nasa ibabaw ng building si Timmy. Ngayon naman, nandito na naman siya sa edge ng hill. So dito. Okay? So buwis buhay itong taong to. Okay? So andito sa ibabaw si Timmy. Okay? When a maritime ship passes by. So we have this maritime ship. And then it passes by. So again, Timmy is standing on the edge of a hill when the maritime ship passes by. Now, 
Timmy is 25 meters above the ground. Okay? So, from the ground daw, papunta dyan sa kinatatayuan ni Timmy, it's 75 meters. Well, the angle of depression from his position to the ship is 30 degrees. So, from his position to the ship, okay, the angle of de depression, ito, the angle of depression is 30 degrees. So, again, yung kanina. From the line of sight, gawa tayo ng horizontal line, then ito, connect natin papunta dun sa object, and then we create our angle of depression now. How far is the ship from the bottom of the hill? So, gaano do palayo itong ship na to? To the bottom of the hill. So, this one. So, let's represent it by the small letter C. Then, second is, how long is the line of sight? Gaano do kahaba itong linya na to? Yung line of sight. Connecting the eye of the observer to the object. So, let's represent it with a small letter J. Okay? So, before we proceed solving this problem, kailangan natin maintindihan that this triangle, ito, is actually a okay, right triangle. Since may right angle siya dito. And then, next one is, itong linya na to is a horizontal line. This same line here is also a horizontal line. This is the line of sight. So, horizontal line ka, may linya, 30 degrees. Horizontal line ka, Meaning, ito palang angle na to is also 30 degrees. And now that we have determined that this is a right triangle, and this is also 30 degrees, we can now solve this triangle ito. Okay? So, let's proceed. So, yan. This is 30 degrees, 75 meters, yung C at yung J. So, first, so for our solution, let's see with the distance from the shape the ship to the bottom of the hill and j be the length of the line of sight ito. Okay? Now, j is the blank. Ano ba to? Ng triangle. Okay? Based on our previous lessons, you should have answered it's the hypotenuse. Okay? Next, yung 75 meters. 75 meters is blank of the given angle 30 degrees. So, itong 75 meters, yung relationship niya sa 30 degrees, it is the opposite side. Okay? And then lastly, C is, kung hypotenuse yan, opposite, automatic, this will be the adjacent side. And having determined this one, we are now ready to solve this problem. So, una, kailangan yung uh, piliin natin na trigonometric function yung involve yung dalawang values, yung 75 meters at yung 30 degrees. Okay? So, yung pinili natin for this solution is ginamitan natin ng tangent 30 degrees. Okay? Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, 75 over C. Now, cross-multiplying yung C, pupunta dito sa kabila, yung tangent 30, pupunta sa ilalim ng 75 degrees. So, ito yung mangyayari. And then, after that, we calculate this using our calculator, we will get the answer 129.9 meters. So, this is now the distance from the ship to the bottom of the hill. Okay? The next one is, what is the length of the line of sight? So, nakuha na natin yung C using tangent. Yung trigonometric function na tangent. How will we solve for J? Okay? Now, hindi ko na isolve yan. You try. Solve for the length of the line of sight. Ito. Using the following. Pwede mong gamitin for the Korean theorem. Sine and cosine. Notice that you will arrive on the same answer. Comment down your answer below. Kung ano ba yung value ng J, okay? Dito sa ating YouTube channel. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, class, uh, dun sa previous natin na uh, lessons, okay, pinakuha ko sa inyo yung anin na trigonometric uh, function values. But kung napapansin nyo dito sa pagsusolve natin, okay, pipili ka lang ng isa. Ano ba yung pinaka-applicable? At yung pinaka-applicable na trigonometric function is the one involving two given values. Okay? Ano yung trigonometric function na pwede mong magamit na involve yung dalawang given? Okay? At isang unknown. Pag nahanap mo yun, then you can solve that unknown value. Okay? 